in the salon today. I'm out of order. Two. I'm not going to be spoken to you like that by anyone. Out of sorts. This isn't me in here at all. And just, in with just a say, just answer this question with a no. Do you have a boyfriend? Twelve minutes past ten on Monday morning. Yesterday, Ricardo was late morning. for the weekly meeting. You With just nice. three minutes to Thank spare, you. he makes his entrance. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. 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 Ricardo. You know who you look like there for a second? Hello. Ricardo. What? I'm impressed, mate. Yeah, I know. Me too. Can't oh. believe it. Oh. Keep Made up. a mistake, turned up on time. Yeah, no. Sit Shall I go back? <laughs> no. Great shoes. Yeah. Go, girl. Very Michael Jackson, isn't it, that look? Yeah. Is it? Very Michael Very Jackson. the 80s, though. That's cool. We like 80s. I love the 80s, mate. Mm, I do. Mm. Mel and Kim, Duran Duran. It's Van Dabbo. Nick Kershaw. Soft sound. Oh, oh, I yeah. know. Bloody hell, my favourite they were. Every Monday morning, Junior's Bassos and Karina spend a few hours so training boring, under manager Paul's really supervision. They're working with dummy heads, and just like real what? heads, they have to be washed. Do I look boring dressed today, guys? Yeah. No, you look cool, man. Yeah? I like how you dress today. Do you? I feel really boring. Yesterday, Ricardo complained about having too many clients. For the second day in a row, he's not happy. No, he's just saying that he's got five clients. He does five, five clients. A lot, like almost every day. Five, 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 five. five. But it compensates for the lack of cleaning you've been doing, isn't it, darling? <laughs> clean, I clean your mouth through the bloody bleach. Hey, listen, I'll give you a hand blow dry. Don't stand there and have a go at me about it. Then, I, right? Am I having a go at you? You are. You're saying that you've had five men every day and you don't want to do I, five men. That's not men. having a go at you, love. It is, because you're tell, telling me having, you having five clients, when if they've, if they've booked you an extra clients, Ricardo, there's nothing I can that's do about fine, it. That's fine, I'm just telling you. Mm. But don't stand there and call me a bitch, all right? Because I don't like I'm it. not a bitch, you are. Talking right? about cleaning, bringing out cleaning. Mm? You are being I'm not. I'm not being a bit. I was just joking Talking with you. About... Just like we were joking with you yesterday because you made a funny comment about it, so I'm just joking. If you can't take a coat the car day, then. <laughs> There's no need to swear at me like that either when I'm joking to you. It's not pleasant. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be spoken to you like that by anyone. And he's, but he talks to me like that a lot, and I'm not standing for it. I'm sorry. Oh, your temper tantrum this morning. I'm really moody in the morning, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not good myself, to be honest. I'm telling you. That's why I usually hide down there. Don't yes. talk to me. Furious? Oof. Why? In the morning, I just want to kill people. Ricardo's 10.30 appointment is Ryan, a freelance writer, who describes himself as a keen observer yeah. of people. He's I'm come in fine. for a trim. You're Gar Stewart. You sh well, I can be Stewart. Are you Stuart or Ryan? Ryan? Ryan, how are you, my darling? Good, I'm fine, thank you. It's very difficult to take your section when, when you're so low down. You need to get it up higher or sit down. You, know, you can't see what you're doing, all right? Oh, yeah. Get on eye level. How can you see down there? Get up. There you go. Can you fill that out for me, please? Can I have a quick word? Mm. When the clients come in, Mm -hmm. You always try and guess their name, and I would say three or four times a day, you're getting <laughs> wrong. Be wrong. You're oh, getting I wrong. So don't. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, for the guy? So you're local? Yes, I'm just up the road. A bed set or a house or what? Um, a penthouse. A penthouse? Uh huh. What, top floor? Uh huh. 
Have you been to the gay village in Manchester? Um, no, I don't like gays. So look at <laughs> <laughs> well, you're talking to me, love, aren't you? <laughs> Paul, can I take my next section? Yeah, uh, can you concentrate on your client's head rather than your own hair, okay. please? Because I'm watching you from over there. <laughs> and you're doing your hair. Oh, it looks so horrible today. 32 year old um, Andrew no, is 80s, never. 12 Definitely o'clock. He's a housemaster at a residential college for the deaf and has had long hair for over 17 Hi. years. He has to tie it back when he is signing with the students Hi there. and has decided right. to get rid of it. Sorry, I was guessing. Um, and the other for... A restart. Andrew, yes. right. So I can take your coats. Yes. And then we can... I'll let AD know that you're here. Oh, I've got a bottle of champagne here if you want. You've got a bottle of champagne? Yeah, do you want a drink? What, now? Yeah, of course. Oh, we might as well. Well, let's pop it. What, did you bring for us? Of course I did. Everyone... Oh, bless you. Everyone in the... In the uh... The salon can have a little sip. With Paul's permission, Sandra wastes Good. no time in sharing the champagne no, around the one. salon. Do you two like a little glass of champagne? A very little glass. Very little. Otherwise, I'll be on my back with my legs in the air and eat. Girls, all like, ooh! We're talking about a teaspoon. Have you had some? Well, no, not yet. I'm going to. Well, that's not brilliant. I can't wait to see Ricardo. He gets legless. Yeah. You'll be banging any old sodding colour in these pots, won't we? After yeah! <laughs> so where are you lot going after this, then? We're going clubbing after the champagne. I'm no, I mean, you. when this... Sh when this shuts down. <laughs> I've got, um, a, uh, I've got a, a Hollywood movie I'm doing. And I'm going to be... I can see you in a movie. And I'm going to be playing your... I can. Taste you, man. <laughs> Well, you don't so be ignorant, you, Ricardo. It's terrible, this one. I'm going to make a hole in your hair. I'm trying to talk. You can't talk and have your hair cut at the same time. You have to... Well, yeah, you seem to be doing a good job of it. I know, but I'm the boss. Oh, my God, what's that guy? I've got to see this. He's having a shop. I get a lot more satisfaction out of it if you perhaps cry a little bit. I could win <laughs> Need a pair oh of shears. <laughs> Can't use any good scissors, you see. Andrew wants to keep his short locks for posterity and make yeah. sure they're bagged up to go back to Derby with him. Hey, baby, you've got a lot of flock of seagulls going on there. <laughs> Paul's warned his staff he's getting tough. To maintain a high standard in his salon, he's made notes on each stylist and read through the many comments he's received from viewers. Later today, he plans to have one-to-ones with Sonia and Ricardo. How are you now with your coming out business? Oh, uh, the thing is, they portrayed it as coming out to the world. I was only coming out to my parents. Everyone else knew. Just answer this question with a no. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no. You have now. Take this off. Yeah? <laughs> Keep the length. That's what am I doing with that? Do you want to put some oranges in it? Yeah, but is that yours then? That's ours. Oh, We're going to share, oh, right, won't okay. we? Okay. Let's see if we can get a real Jackie Charlton out of it. I can hear my students laughing as I speak. As I speak. You don't mind me taking a Mickey, do you? No. Fantastic. People do. Jackie Charlton. Do you like it? Does it make me look sexy, though? That's sexy. Is it? That's my interpretation of sexy. <laughs> really? You're in love with me, but you don't know it yet, do you? Huh? <laughs> what did you say to you? You're madly in love with me, but you don't know it I yet. I know. Maybe I'll find out later, but it'll be stalkering you. Yeah. You're yeah. all tan, don't you? I do. Huh? Is that sunbed? No, that's Brazil, darling. No. Ooh, you're in it next, then, or thong? Thongs. I can just see you tarting up on the beach. You know, like, you've got to be sincere, you know, you can't... Uh, sincere? What, me? You're you telling me to be sincere. You, you will never have a boyfriend, a long and meaningful relationship, yeah. unless you have 100% commitment and you don't go tartan it about. Well, that's why I don't have one. So you just go mm. for the sex, then? Well, I'll go for whatever's in the market. Do you know what I mean? No, what I'm saying is you're giving the wrong impression. To who? 
to the general public. I don't care. That's me. Well, you should because it gives it gives the gay community a bad name. Oh, you stop here having a go at me. Don't I'm not having a go, start. Ricardo. I'm trying to save your life. Are. I'm not bloody uh, giving any impression, bad impression to gay at all. You're getting annoyed now, aren't you? That's me. You said for me to be sincere. I'm sincere. Right. Well, that's good. Well, here we go then. I think Ricardo's got a great attitude mm. and he's a fun guy and there's a, definitely a market for him. And as far as Paul's concerned, I think he's, the way he's managing the shop, he'll end up running a massive organisation or something. So I think yeah. me, I think I'll just end up having a load of geezers around the country wanting me to cut their hair. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool. Excellent. Last bit of long hair is going. 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 Oh. I do believe you made me look nice today. Sorry. I do believe you made me look nice. Do you believe what? You made me look nice. Do you think so? I think so too. Yeah. It was my pleasure. You're welcome. That's all you do, look. Right. Can't get any more easy than that. Just get it in there. few days it'll really want to do this naturally. Right. It's just so used to being tied back. Yeah. But like I said, the effort in this haircut is nothing. It's all been cut with the points of my scissors. It's a bit long, a bit short. It's all quite balanced, but it's not perfect. Yeah. Not all sitting nice and sharp. I think it's a bit boring. At the end of the day, I want something to look different. That's it, yeah. And I've got that. I mean, this is a sort of look you can walk into college. You don't have it quite as mad as that you go into college, but you'll still look... Mm. Presentable and professional at the same time, you stick a pair of jeans on and it looks cool. Wow, yeah, it's just easy, yeah, little textured, little croppy number. That's fine, yeah, yeah. You've seen it's a short. Here you go, sir. Absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. Sonia, I was thinking of you last night. Were you? How well, much I like you. Oh, God. I really was, honestly. That's I was just... Nice of you. Yeah, I was... That you are a absolute a lovely person. Oh, don't make me all ready now. Yeah. Exactly. You, you're pure. You've got this... Genuine that feelings, that pure. Yeah. And that is Sonia. She's mm. like... And a lot of things can hurt her very easily. Oh, yeah. Oh. And you don't trust many people. I don't trust anyone. Yeah. I don't trust anyone at all. Yeah. It takes you a long time for you to do it. Oh, God. You <laughs> see? I know. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, that's Coming not what I want you to have load on me. Do you know what I mean? It's like... I'm just quite happy to just go out and have sex. <laughs> and from the top. This has come down from head office. Well, what is it? It's mid-afternoon in the salon. Suzanne has a fake tan on the go. Karina and Bassas are shampooing clients at the sinks. Aidy's cutting is two o'clock, and Ricardo's just completed his third client of the day. <laughs> Through the salon doors comes 43-year-old office manager Marina. She's booked in for an extensive waxing session with Sabrina. In the manager's office, Building Paul's having his first one-to-one -one of the day and... with Sonia. What, 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 I, what I like about you is if you see something, you try it. I do, yeah. yeah. I don't always yeah. think that's the best way. <laughs> Cer <laughs> certainly not, not in a salon that, that I'm managing anyway. Yeah. Uh, purely because I do think a little bit of guidance would, would be better. Mm. You could either do one or two things, just carry on the way you're going, mm. or try and develop yourself to become... This isn't me in here at all. Is it not? I know you've got to be professional in there, yeah. but I'm quite... Um, Amusing, quite funny and quite loud, really. My goal is is mm. to make you a better hairdresser before you leave. I've spent two weeks looking at everyone, kind of just trying to suss them out a little bit. Mm. And you are an interesting character. <laughs> well, we, have, we haven't really had a lot to do with each no. other. No. This, this is probably the hardest bit to talk about for me. It's how you look as a person. Mm. 29 with bunches. <laughs> And a, and a Mr. Man yeah. t-shirt, I don't think is... 
<laughs> cool. I think you should be looking a bit more sexier than mm. than a teenager. Right. D does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not. I'm not. Not being horrible here. I'm just. Yeah. Just when I look at you, sometimes I put you in the same bracket as Mel, Karina, Sonia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually. I'd like somebody to just take me aside and just give me an outfit and give me a new look. OK, well, that's good. Yeah. It's good that you're up for change. I've said that all the time in here. I'd like an image, cos Karina's got an image, Mel's got her own, and I'm sort of... I don't really know what mine is. Next week, we get your hair done before Friday, mm. and then Friday, we're going to hit the shops. Mm. And, I'll, and I'm going to pay for some of it. Oh yeah. Because I'm gonna, because <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at you for the next six yeah. weeks, <laughs> and I want you looking sexy and not, oh, kind of, God. not like a teenager. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I think it will give you the confidence. That you I think need. it would, because I'm I really I'm self I'm very critical. I hate myself for looking in that mirror. I'm like, oh God. A bit dated. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, a little bit. Yeah. And I, and I think you could just. Just spin that and just mm. make it, make take it to your advantage. Be a new woman, yeah. Although Marina has had waxes before, she hasn't ever oh. felt satisfied that enough hair has right? been stripped yeah. off. It's been a while since she last gave it a go. I'm so used to this now, but the last time I had how my long, waxes, how long? How long's been the growth on the upper legs? It's about a year. Yeah. <laughs> your full growth of hair then. Mm-hmm. But last time I had it done. The girl who did it just couldn't get all the hair, and she just kept saying, it's too tough, I can't do it. Yeah, it's not that tough. And I came away with so much hair left, it just took her too long. She actually ran out of time. Believe it or not, people find confidence when they have waxing and it's done properly after yeah. if it's not done properly, you're just like that, aren't you? Exactly, it's like the last girl who did it. The whole time I thought, it's like she's not happy about what she's doing. Yeah. Um, and she's a stereotypical beautician. What do you mean? Um, you know, people imagine that they're, they're empty-headed and just talk about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh dear. Do you know what I mean? Ricardo's number, three o'clock, 30-year-old Gary has come in for a number three crop <laughs> because he thinks that his bald patch is too noticeable. I can honestly say, Sandra, you ask any appeal, you know? bloke, there's nothing worse than losing your hair. Nothing. It's worse than having small willy, I think. I definitely can't, I can't relate to that. <laughs> I think so, I don't mind having small willy, but I, don't, I can't lose my hair. Oh, I'd rather have a big willy. <laughs> so, well, you'd rather have a small willy than no hair? I don't care. Whatever. No, I think that really matters. <laughs> Do you think it matters? It really matters. Really? Re oh, size, it doesn't size matter to me at all. Oh, that does. It doesn't it really matter? <laughs> really matters. Just there. It's That's taken so Sabrina lovely. an hour and ten minutes to wax Marina's legs, but it's not so over yet. Deep breath. Yeah. Nice one. Oh. My eyes water. And again. Oh, sorry. Pull it off, small pink flap. Done. You know when you start when you're reading something and you hear the noise. I can imagine me scrubbing that and hear the noise of the this number the scrub, and it's making my teeth go funny. It's like when someone goes with a fork. <laughs> You look like your shoes. Are you single then or are you dating someone? No, I'm single. Why? Again. Because I'm just <laughs> crap when it comes to man. But don't you think that finding a decent, sexy man is hard work? Because the most, most men, not... a lot of men are really boring, aren't they? Yeah. You've got a song that makes you laugh. Yeah. Everyone yeah. just seems to be commitment phobic at the moment. They sort of think just because you go out on a date with them that you want to marry them. I know. Do you know what I mean? You're like, oh, no, yeah. I just want to go out and have a laugh. I'm just quite happy to just go out and have sex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that is really bad because my mum could be watching. That's really awful. No, that... Just because we're strong and we're confident. And... Scare men off, darling. They don't want that. They, that... they want a submissive woman. They want a woman they can control. 
you scare men off and you always will do because of personality. Yeah, but then you get and someone they can control and they think, oh, she's a complete walkover. Yeah, but that is... She's, there's no... See, I quite like someone. See, that's the thing. I need a guy that can control me. I mean, because you it's too feel, much. You get bored, I think, sometimes. It's just, it's just nice to have someone to take control of me and say, right, we're doing this, or yeah, we're doing that, or... Exactly. Yeah, we're doing I totally agree. I don't feel like... I exactly, that's what I mean. You get bored yeah. of that. I'm, I never get asked out, ever. Seriously? That's the same thing I never do as well. Do you want to just double check that key line for me and see if you're okay? Nice and clean. Look at that. Yeah? It's after six o'clock, and while there are still clients to attend to, there's also cleaning to be done. Sandra lends Karina a hand. In the staff room, Sonia and Ricardo take a breather. Have you got to go in there now? Probably. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in there. Something's <laughs> gonna happen. Just keep calm, deep breaths. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Just gonna have a one to one and. Can I bring my tea? Uh, yeah, you can bring your tea. As long as you don't throw it at me halfway through. <laughs> oh, no, no. What is that? I haven't got the energy ball. But I think overall you're doing a fantastic job in there. You, you look great. Thank you. You look great, and you, you're doing all the things that we want that I want you to. It's a couple of things we just need to polish, and then bang, we're done. All right. Timekeeping, I would say, is poor. Yeah, but it improved. <laughs> no, on time now. Ricardo. I'm not early. Ricardo, your timekeeping is poor. I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm okay. Not. Well, we need to work on that, otherwise I'm going to give you a written warning, <laughs> OK? I cannot be seen yeah. to be letting you get away with it. Yeah. All right? Because I, it makes me look bad. So I don't know what... But you, can't, you have to get verbal warning before, isn't it? Verbal and written. How You've had your verbal. Now. This is your verbal. I was there? Yeah, next time is a written. I was on late today. <laughs> this is... No, no, I'm giving you a verbal warning about your lateness. Less of your cheek. All right. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of comments about... Yeah, uh, Ricardo's lazy and needs to sharpen up. They like you, but they're saying that. Mm. Right? Uh, <laughs> Ricardo's lazy and needs to get off his Brazilian ass. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this has come down from head office. Oh, what is it? It's a letter. Oh, God. <laughs> Both the viewers and your, your manager, Paul, have noticed your unwillingness to pitch in and assist your fellow staff members. Mm. Right? Mm. We've talked about all this. Yeah. In addition, you have been late at least three times. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Uh, which we've talked about. Head office must remind you that the salon operates on a teamwork. Yeah. And in order to, for you to understand this more effectively, has asked you to decide mm. whether or not that you should spend the day working as a junior. As a junior? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, basically, mm. what it's saying is. The, 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 the public, uh -huh. because you've been sitting on your ass uh -huh. and being late for work, uh -huh. you might be working with Vass and Karina for the Yeah, day. right. See, they dream on. <laughs> Tomorrow night on The Salon, identical twin beauty therapists Sarah and Haley will be treating clients to their special four-handed massage. And this client drops in. It's not just a tan that's fake.